for continuing on Algebra 1, this is 8-3 Part B. And this is um, multiplying more polynomials. So more multiplication of polynomials. What we did in the lesson before, and you do not need to write this down, don't write this down. We did x minus 4 times x plus 3, and we used the FOIL method. x times x is x squared. Outside, x times 3 is 3x. Inside is a negative 4x. And last is a negative 12. And so we have x squared plus negative x plus negative 12. That's what we did before. I hope you didn't write this down. What we're going to do now, see how we had a binomial here and a binomial here? We're going to start with a binomial. Now you can write this down. And we're going to take it times a trinomial. So the same principles will apply. We're going to multiply, we're going to take the x times everything and then the 3 times everything. So we're going to take x times everything in the second group, then take 3 times everything in the second group. So I'm, I, don't, I can't use FOIL necessarily, but I'm going to take x times 2x squared. I'm going to take x times a negative 4x, and I'm going to take x times 5. When I take x times 2x squared, I get 2x cubed. When I, I'm going to leave, change opposite here. When I take x times a negative 4x, I get a negative 4x squared. And when I take x times 5, I get 5x. So I've done that. I've taken x times everything. Now I am going to take... 3 times everything. So I'm going to take 3 times 2x squared, which gives me 6x squared. I'm going to take 3 times a negative 4x, which gives me a negative 12x. And I'm going to take 3 times 5, which gives me 15. Now what I'm going to do is put my like terms together. I'm going to combine like terms, just like we always do. And let's see here what we have for like terms. I don't have anything that goes with 2x cubed. I have a negative 4x squared and a positive 6x squared, which gives me 2x squared. I have a 5x and a negative 12x, which gives me, what, negative 7x. And then I've got 15 at the end. So this is as simplified as I can go right here. Let's do one more together. For my next one, I have 6x plus 5 times 2x squared minus 3x minus 5. First, I'm going to leave change opposite everything. And then I have to take 6x times everything in the second group. And then I have to take 5 times everything in the second group. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change my colors. And I'm going to scroll up just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take 6x times everything. So let's do that first. 6x times 2x squared is 12x cubed. 6x times negative 3x is a negative 18x squared, and 6x times negative 5 is a negative 30x. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take 5 times each of the terms in the second group. 5 times 2x squared is 10x squared. 5 times negative 3x is a negative 15x, and 5 times negative 5 is a negative 25. Now I'm going to put my like terms together. I don't have anything that goes with 12x cubed, so that's where I'm starting. I have a negative 18x squared and a positive 10x squared, which gives me a negative 8x squared. I have a negative 30x and a negative 15x, which gives me a negative 45x, and then I end with my negative 25. And so that is the answer. That's simplified. I have one of these to do for you to do for your secret problem, and I have a few more things I'm going to talk about super fast. Secret uh, problem today. Three a plus four times a squared minus twelve a plus one. So you're going to take three times every a times everything, and then you're going to take four times everything. 
Next thing we're going to do is area, area up some shapes, just a couple. First of all, let's remember that the area of a, tr of a rectangle is length times width. So when I have this rectangle right here, here's my rectangle and my length is 20 plus 2x and my width is 15 plus 2x and so I have to take the length times the width this is the length and this is the width so I have to take 20 plus 2x times 15 plus 2x and now I'm foiling I'm back to foiling again because there's just this is a plus sign right here there's just two terms so that should be pretty simple so I'm gonna do first 20 times 15, well let's see, 2 times 15 is 30, add the 0 on, that gives me 300. Outside, 20 times 2x is 40x. Inside, 2x times 15 is 30x. And last, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Now I do want you to write these in, in standard form, which means we have the largest degree first, which is 4x squared. So I have 4x squared, these are like terms, so that's 70x and then 300. So that's the area of that figure. Your secret word is softball. Let's try a triangle now. And I'm going to label, first of all, my area of the triangle is half the base times the height. So if the base is 6x plus 4 and the height is x plus 7, x plus negative 7, excuse me, the area is half the base times the height. Now you can take half of this first, or you can wait till we're all done and take half of it. I'm going to go ahead and take half of it now. Only one of the terms though. So half of 6x is 3x, and half of 4 is 2. So I took half of this, and I got this right here. And I'm going to take that times x plus negative 7. First, 3x squared, outside, negative 21x, inside, 2x, last, negative 14, 3x squared, plus, let's see, this is a negative 19x, plus negative 14. That's not 74, that's negative 14. You could have done it the other way. Let's let's do it the other way first. You can maybe don't need to write this down if I don't take half. If I wait and take half at the end, 6x first, 6x times x is 6x squared. Outside is 6x times negative 7, which gives me a negative 42x. Inside is 4 times x, which is 4x. And last is a negative 28. And then I can take half of that. Half of 6x squared is 3x squared. Yep, that's what we got. Ooh. Can I make a mistake here? Oh, 42 plus 4, that gives me negative 38x. And half of that is a negative 19x. Yep, that's half, that's right. And then half of negative 28 is negative 14. So either way you do it is fine. You can do the half first or afterwards. It really doesn't matter. Your secret problem, I want you to find the area of this rectangle. Whoa, that was a bad one. It's good. makes that a rectangle for me. Yeah, no, recognize the shape. Uh, no, it did not. That's okay. So there's my rectangle. And let me give you a length and width. So for your, oops, I lost my page. So excited about doing that. I lost my page. Here we go. My length is 2m minus 6, and my height, or my width, excuse me, is 5m plus 2. See you in class. Bye.